Like if you start to think of what are, you, what are we afraid of, in fact sometimes that's an exercise that's done just to write down what are you afraid of. And uh, sometimes you need several notebooks. <laughs> And you can write down particular instances like uh, afraid of a particular dog that day or afraid of a particular uh, distressing person who was begging on the street or afraid uh, of a confrontation that you had at work that brought up fear or afraid of uh, someone in your immediate family or someone in your past. It goes deeper though than the outer circumstances and if you look deeper and then you realize it's, you know, fear of not being good enough, fear of losing something, fear of not being loved, fear of, uh, you know, lots of, you know, sometimes they're called core beliefs that we hold about ourselves, deeply held fears, which sometimes are not even verbalized, but deeply held fears. And then if you go deeper, deeper, really it comes down to, in my experience, and this is also in accord with the Shambhala teachings, but it's definitely my personal experience and, and the experience which is shared with me by so many people, uh, year after year, over and over. And that is a, a fear of ourselves. It's like ashamed of ourselves. Fear, fear to look closely. Fear of what we're going to see if we look at ourselves. And so the training, the pith of the, when we use this image of the warrior, the one who cultivates bravery, it's uh, looking at this fear of oneself, looking closely at oneself. For the first time having the support of the teachings and the practices of various forms to look closely at oneself. Brave enough to really look. That's the, that's the heart of it. And then the heart of it is uh, to not be afraid of ourselves. The heart of the kind of uh, impassioned message that uh, Trump Rinpoche left was, uh, we do not need to be afraid of ourselves. There is no one living that doesn't have tremendous creativity, tremendous uh, uh, openness, potential for openness. There's nobody living who, who doesn't have uh, tenderness and strength. So why should we be the exception to the rule? Now I think, you know, the people often say that uh, that I go around year after year saying the same thing and uh, kind of like beating a dead horse. <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> because this is where we get stuck, is with this uh, not trusting ourselves. This is where we get stuck. This is where it all gets twisted. This is where everything gets funny. Everything gets strange. Everything gets kind of thrown out of kilter. Not trusting, not respecting ourselves.